for English 151A, we will be learning about the book Scion. In this class, this is the uh, quintessential book at the quarter, and uh, as you know, it's the uh, freshman reader until 2010. So hopefully, you guys have read it. My name is Dr. Berg. He's not I don't like him. <laughs> You can call me uh, Dr. Berg. All right, uh, let's just start by taking attendance. Uh, Justin Dunn. Okay, good. Uh, Colin Zavosek. Oh, all right. Uh, Steven Sop. Sop. Steven Sop. Uh, uh, Brian a field again. Jesus. Matthew uh, G Greaser. So uh, let's get on to the book. I'm assuming uh, y'all have uh, read it. Yeah, you over there. Uh, where does Toloki come from? Oh, I have no idea. Okay, and uh, yeah, yeah, you. Uh, um, what do, what exactly um, does Toloki do for a job? Architect. All right. Okay. Well, here's another one. Um, where does the book start off taking place? Man, this is like confusing. Yeah, no kidding. How do you drop a class? All right, well, well, uh, it seems like you guys are pretty confused. So uh, I think he's a great. Let's just see. I have a video. Let's just see if this helps. Let's just turn that on. Stand and face the fact. What it needs. Just looking to be free. On a journey to the north. Running into and through struggles. To finally escape slavery. Just once upon a time, a long while ago, two slaves were called Nicodemus and Abenigo. They found themselves caught on a fair field farm. Victims of slavery and a hell of a lot of harm. Work and work, work all day. No more world to enjoy, definitely no pay. They were growing tired, they were seeking their fate. They were looking for a moment, a small chance to escape. But one day, man of Fairfield went outside. She was sleeping with a slave, she was now trying to hide. But the two slaves saw and were sworn to secrecy. For telling the secret, they'd be sold immediately. So they found this chance to leave their life. It was time to ditch whether or not it seemed right. Time to head up north in search of the free. One day before next, it will be time to leave. Two slaves just looking to be free. On a journey to the north. Running into and through struggles. Winter had arrived and the two slaves went. The Abyssinian Queen's court was on a permanent rent. With Nicodemus Samper, they were truly set to head up north without harm nor fret. So they followed away, led by a horny arm, while the field fear search crew hunted after to harm. Luckily for the slaves, they went the wrong way. They escaped tragedy on that one given day. When her children escaped, the queen was beaten real hard. The beacon keep on beating with no hope to retard. Nearly struck with death, the queen stayed alive. And the fight in her went to boys as they thrived. They were on a journey with no chance of turning back. The slaves were now headed north and avoiding the attack. On their way to freedom on a journey with a quilt. Traveling by night just trudging through the silk. Two slaves just looking to be free. 
on a journey to the north Running into and through struggles To finally escape slavery As the journey progressed, they were followed by a guy A blue bug, our titanic, massive blue fly We watched over them as a guardian angel Massive blue fly would pick you up if you fell The fly led the slaves to the river Jordan And they thought they were free from Fairfield Warden But here's a warning, do not party too soon That nigga got sick because he wasn't immune Two slaves just looking to be free On a journey to the north Running into and through struggles To finally escape slavery The slaves thought they were free But in fact they were not Help came when they met a man on their trot He said he was a conductor on the Underground Railroad But he wasn't telling the truth It was just a load of He said he'd lead them to Canada Just follow him, keep up your stamina However, the man was a slave chaser So the slave shot out of there like a laser But they left so fast, they left something behind Something so important, but it wasn't on their mind Their map got left, the man had the quilt Then the slaves met Birdman and lost the guilt Birdman led them to the north on the railroad When they arrived in Athens, the slaves were free for show The story is not over, there's some more to go So stick around after this course and you will know Two slaves just looking to be free On a journey to the north Running into and through struggles Just when they thought it was safe, William Defy showed up Armed with his henchmen, he didn't give up He took down Nicodemus in the basement of the house Nobody to see besides a furry little mouse That had been who got away and settled down with his spouse He got to Tabor Town and married an Indian Christ This is how the story ends, I got nothing left to say Three dudes and a Jew are out, have a nice day Slaves just looking to be free On a journey to the north Running into and through struggles To finally escape slavery See you guys tomorrow. Again, same time, same place. We all uh, can be excused now. Okay. So where is uh, Zig's, um, fuck, what is his name? <laughs> Muda. <laughs> Tolohoki. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Steven, stop. Steven, stop here. Steven, Steven, uh, probably in the field again. Uh, Matthew Greaser. Dude, you bitch, I gotta do that again. <laughs> then one day, Matt Fairfield was outside. She was sleeping in the rain. Fucking riding by.
Does anyone have any more crack? 